What I've loved the most about um, traveling the way that I have is that I've, I've gotten to understand that the only constant in your life is change. I've been traveling around the world for 10 years now and I haven't really had a true base. I've been kind of jumping around. I started in Australia, moved to New Zealand, did Southeast Asia, then I moved to to the UK, um, then traveled around a bit of South America, and then I moved to Canada. I did a little bit of Europe and moved to Barcelona. When you feel attached to material things, then you build expectations, you build you know, it's, it's kind of like trying to fill holes that, that you have. I've learned that the more you try to control things, the less you control them. But the more that you are able to adapt to things, the more in control you are. I basically cried all the way from my home to the airport when my parents were uh, leaving me the first year. That felt, it felt like, I don't know, I, I, it's really hard to describe, but it's kind of like one of the most intense, painful things that I've ever had to do. My dad, um, he was always teaching me about life, about how to see things that happen to us. He was a Christian, but he wasn't really practicing, and, um, and he seemed to be very spiritual. I never really listened to him while he was alive, but when he passed away, and he passed away on the 7th of July, so the 7th of the 7th of 2017, at the age of 77, I... For some reason, there was something, my intuition just told me, you know, coincidences don't exist. This is, this is too much. That's when my spiritual journey really started coming to life and everything that he had taught me in life, I finally started listening and taking in wholeheartedly. You know, he had this motto, Omnia in Bonum, which means, um, good in all, good in everything. So it just teaches you that there's a blessing in disguise in everything that happens to you. And after he passed away, all these things started coming to life in my life. I didn't look for it, I didn't ask for it, it just started happening. You start seeing synchronicities all over. That, that's been a massive part of my spiritual journey. Synchronicity is just basically what we call coincidence and then um, we don't realize that it's the universe giving us a sign that we're in the right path or it's giving us a tool or, or it's telling us to just listen, to see this moment. There's something here that's going to help you in your journey and so you start seeing how all the dots in your life start connecting and everything, everything, absolutely everything is speaking to you and you're just listening and the more you see these things, the more it starts expanding and the more you see as well, so it's kind of like a multiplying effect. It's hard to make relationships work like that because you really don't get to know the person um, before jumping into that relationship so you don't really know if it's the right match for you or not if it's going to work out you don't have that time frame to explore things with them or anything It is true what they say, even if it is corny or not, the most important relationship in your life is the one that you have with yourself. And If you really don't know yourself, if you're not happy with being by yourself, if you don't like to explore those things, then 
having another person that's completely different to you, being having to adapt to them and everything, just makes things a lot harder for yourself, even if you think that it's going to be a lot easier because you have company. When I moved to Bali, I started seeing how all the different dots in my life were absolutely connected. Every single person that I met here was giving me something, a tool, a message or something, uh, you know, an understanding that I was on the right path or a book or, you know, they're, they're, they're talking about things that I've been looking into just recently. and. I'm attracting people that are basically in the same wavelength as myself in a spiritual level. There were so many coincidences happening to me all at once. And, you know, it, it's, it's undeniable. Coincidences don't exist, so synchronicity invaded my life. I've learned to control my fear because I, f I think that fear is there and I think that it's always going to be there. I'm not, um, I wouldn't want it to not be there because it's energy, but it's up to you to kind of understand how you want to approach fear. Are you going to let it paralyze you? Or are you going to actually use it to your advantage? Fear is the energy that actually drives me forward. And so with that fear, I, I go out and I basically feel like I'm going to conquer the world. And I don't have any doubts about it because I've done it before and I know that I can do it. And here we go again. <laughs>